Coach Kim here, seasoned personal trainer, ready to give you a great stretch. So this is gonna be 15 minutes of stretching, full body stretch for my mature adults and beginners. Let's get stretching. We're gonna be starting with some great leg stretches for our standing stretch segment here. So I'd like you to, if you need a chair, please get a chair or stand by a wall for those of you that, you know, with maybe balances a, a little bit off and that's fine, but this is gonna be what we do right here. Your left hand on your left leg, I want you to go ahead and grab that, that leg, lift up that opposite arm. And again, if you feel like it's just, this is too challenging, holding onto that chair or that wall is perfectly fine. You do what works for you. So notice how my knee is pointed down and I'm gonna lean into the stretch. Oh, it's a little bit more challenging. My standing knee is soft, hold, hold. Most of you will probably be holding onto something and I'm fine and rest. Each stretch for about 10 to 50, or 10 to 20 seconds should be fine. I want you to grab that leg. And some of you, if you cannot reach that leg behind you, what I'd like you to do is grab either an old necktie or a rope that you might have hanging around, wrap it around the top of your leg, like right through here, and then you'll be able to grab that rope and then choke up on that. Good, so reach up. And now I want you to lean into that stretch. The standing knee is soft and hold. By leaning, it's opening up the hip a little bit more. And three, and that's two. And that's one, beautiful. Good job there. So that's stretch the top of the legs. Now we're gonna stretch the back of the legs. Back of the legs are a little bit jealous, so they want a, a little stretch too. So take that right leg, keep it straight in front of you, bend the back knee slightly. You're hinging, leaning towards that leg. And again, if you need to hold onto a chair, wall, or table, that's fine too. And I want you flexing the toe up towards you. So this is activating the back of the leg. And always breathe, breathe in through your nose out through your mouth, and let's breathe, and that's out, beautiful job. So that stretch the back of the leg. I don't wanna neglect any of your body parts during this stretch today, and stretching is, it's almost, uh, you know, it's almost meditative. You know, we're meant to move and stretch and think about how animals, um, dogs, cats, and even animals in the wild and how they enjoy stretching. They naturally get up and stretch. So again, flexing that toe towards you. We're on our opposite leg. Keep that leg straight and hold. Oh, another couple seconds. Beautiful, very nice job. All right, so shake those legs out a little bit. Now I'd like you to go ahead and start with a, with a nice stretch. I'm gonna stand sideways here so you can see me. My feet are about shoulder width. I want you to connect your fingers behind you lift up those arms, lift them up, keep the arms straight. So I don't want you to kind of flip flopping all over the place. Keep the arms straight. You're gonna feel it open up the chest and shoulder. If you feel too much pain, just bring the arms back down to your, behind your back. Otherwise, lift the arms up. Now, this one is a good one as well. I want your feet wider. You're gonna hinge at the hip, lift those arms up as you dip down, soften the knees, relax the neck, and you're gonna feel this in the back of the legs, the head, relax. Now put your hands on top of the knee and come back up nice and slow. Now if that does make you dizzy, just skip that part with the hinging and then come back. Now what I'd like you to do is your feet are gonna be wide stancing again. It gives you more stability. I want you to interlace those fingers, tuck your chin in and stretch that mid back. Hold it up. You're gonna keep the arms straight, tuck the chin. Now lift those arms all the way up above your head and I want you to lean to one side. Good, we're gonna work those sides a little bit. Stretch the sides. Again, slight discomfort, not pain. Engage your tummy, don't get sloppy. You always wanna pull the belly button in the spine. Good, and you're gonna feel this in the sides, a little bit in the shoulders as well. And then come to the side. Good, shake those arms out, nice and loosey-goosey. Always feels good to shake it out and always feels good to stretch. And you could do this several times a day. So you could stretch one, two, even three times a day, every day, anytime you feel like it. Take that right arm across. Notice how my arm is straight, palm is facing away towards me. Take my opposite hand and I want you to pull that shoulder in and I'm gonna add a twist at the same time. Beautiful, good, hold the stretch. You're gonna feel this in the deltoid or the shoulder area. And always keep those knees soft and pulling the belly button and the spine. And again, 10, 20 seconds is ample for these stretches. Switch sides, go the other side. So you just don't want to overstretch. That's how people can get hurt if they overstretch or, or bounce or push themselves past a point where it's not comfortable. And we don't want that. Go ahead, hold the stretch. That's five, four, three, two, and one. Good. 
stretch, stretch, stretch. Beautiful. Now this next one, this, this muscle, or should I say this IT band, which runs from the hip down to the knee, sometimes gets a little bit tight. So we're gonna do a stretch there. What I'd like you to do, and I'll stand sideways so it might be a little easier for you to see me. You're gonna put your left foot over the right. And again, if you need to hold on to something, that's fine. Put your right hand down on your side, and I'd like you to take your left hand and lean. Just do a nice little lean and hold the stretch there. That's five, four, three, two, and one. Doesn't that feel amazing? Now we're going to go to the other side. So put your right foot over the left, left hand on your side, and reach up and over. And try to get that bicep to the ear if you can. Good. And hold that stretch. If you're holding onto a chair or wall, that's okay. That's not cheating. That's being smart. So nobody wants anybody to fall. And hold. That's five, and four, and three, and two, and one. Good. Let's put those feet nice and wide. My toes are facing forward. I'd like your hands on your waist right here. And we're going to do a little rotation. Oh, little hip rotation feels amazing. And then we're going to go the other side. Roll those hips. Good. And let's go again. Up and roll your lower back, your hips. Oh, we're just getting blood flow going. And you know, that feels good to get moving. Great way to start your day. Maybe you're ending your day this way, but you know the fact you're doing it, I'm proud of you. And let's go again to the other side. Beautiful. Nice. Good. Doesn't that feel amazing? And always throw those shoulders back. So remember, stand tall. So one foot in front of the other. We're going to work the calves and the hips a little bit with this. I want a nice wide stance. Notice how both feet are facing forward. Make sure that back heel is flat, so you need to have a wide enough stance. And I want you to feel this open up that back hip as well as the calf. So I'm going to add a little bit more movement, some arm movements in here. You're going to lift the arms up above the head, get the biceps by the ears, and put your weight heavy on that back heel. Heavy on the back heel. My head is forward. Hold. Five, four, three, two, one. Good. Again, opening up our hips and calves. Get that heel nice and flat. Take a nice wide stance. If you have to hold onto the chair, I am perfectly fine with that. So you might have one arm up while you hold onto the chair, and that's great. So if you can do both arms, that's, that's great too. So hold it up. You've got that smile on your face, I hope. So breathing in your nose, out your mouth. Get the weight on the back heel. Breathe in and breathe out. Good. Shake it up, shake it up, shake it up. All right, anchor that left hand on top of your, your, the side of your left leg. Take your right hand on top of the head and gently stretch. So what I don't want you to do is lean. Okay, so anchor yourself and just do a nice stretch for the neck right through here. We have a lot of stress and tension on our necks. So let's stretch it out. I don't want to neglect any of your muscles today. And then we'll go the other side. Put your other hand down. Take a gentle stretch to the side. Oh, you're going to feel amazing by the time we're done here. Ah, hold the stretch. Now, gently move your head from left to right in a semicircle, and then right to left. Feel that nice little neck roll in left to right. You're doing a fine job here, right to left. Oh, here we go to the right. Take your, I'm going to put my right hand on top of my side of my chin on my left side, and I'm just giving a nice little rotation. And then I go to the side. So I'm just going to gently turn and I'm going to do this a couple times. I'm not moving my body. I'm only moving my neck and then go again to the side. Oh, we are a bunch of stress balls out there. We hold it in our backs, our necks, go to the other side. So what a great way to release it right here into the side. Good. Let's take your head and just kind of gently go back and forth. I want your ear to go to the side. Perfect. Left to right. If you feel dizzy, you can stop and roll. Good. Now let's take the shoulders and I just want you to roll those shoulders back. Roll them back. Let's do three times backwards. Ah, yes. Any cracking going on, any Rice Krispies, that's normal too. In reverse. Just a great day to be alive. Now let's get another one. Good. So we're going to go back to some lower body here. I want you to take a big step to the side. Notice how one leg is straight, one leg is bent. And I want you to put your hands on that bent leg. The other leg is straight. Both feet are facing forward. Oh, yes. And you're still smiling. I know you're feeling this. You're going to feel it in the groin here a little bit. 
the leg, the quad, hold the stretch. Are you thinking happy thoughts? And breathing in, and breathing out. Abe Lincoln once said, we're as happy as we make up our minds to be. So happiness is a choice. All right, let's put those feet together. We're gonna step to the other side. So I'd like you to lunge into that, lunge, good. So remember, both legs are straight. I want both feet facing forward. There you go, hold this stretch. You feel that in the legs? It's also feeling like a leg workout at this point. That's okay. We're just stretching right now, so hold that. Make sure this leg is straight though. Some people might have it bent. You're gonna get more of the stretch if you keep it straight. Hold it. That's five, four, three, two, and one. Good, I know you felt that a little bit. So with this next one, I want you to put your hands behind you, elbow pointed to the ceiling. You're gonna cup it with your opposite hand, but we're gonna do a side bend at the same time. So you're gonna feel it in the back of your arms. This is your tricep. And I want you to engage your core. So keep your tummy pulled in and don't overstretch. You'll know, like I said before, if you have pain or something doesn't feel right, then just do it in this position right here. Now let's go to the other side. Cup the elbow. Give me a nice little lean to the side, just a gentle lean. Oh, there we go. Breathe in your nose, out your mouth. And breathing in and breathing out. Excellent, roll those shoulders again for me, roll them. Beautiful, extend that right arm out straight. I want you to put your hand on top and just kind of gently pull that down. We're gonna do it again. And then we're gonna go one more, put that arm out straight. Oh, there we go, some blinkers for me. Little blinkers, 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 quick, 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 quick. Perfect. So I wanna do a little bit more here with your hips. You're gonna stand on one leg. Now, if you have that chair, you might wanna grab that chair or that wall. You're gonna put one foot on top of that bent knee and sink into the stretch called a number four. So notice how it looks like a number four, and I'm gently pushing down that opposite leg and those of you that can do it without holding on, kudos to you because it's definitely more advanced. And push. And those of you that aren't, you know, you have to hold on. That's perfectly fine too. You're still getting a great stretch. There we go. And then we'll go the other side. So again, you're gonna feel this open up the hip and the glute. Put your other foot on top. Gently sink into that. Push down, gentle, gentle. This is also good for balance if you hadn't noticed that one. And hold the stretch. You feeling that in the hip? And the glute, and that's five, four, three, two, one. Good. Let's put those feet nice and wide. Excellent. You're going to put your hands up at 12 o'clock. I want your knees nice and soft. Always keep that tummy tight like someone just gave you a sucker punch. So pull the belly in, hands up. We're going to go around the clock counterclockwise. So I'd like you to go all the way around the clock. Soft knees. Go all the way down. Oh, doesn't that feel amazing on the lower back, the hamstrings? Oh, at least it feels amazing on mine. So lift it up to 12 o'clock. Now reverse, reverse, all the way down. Keep going. You are gonna love today. Oh, love it. Even Emerson has a great quote I love. We're gonna go back to some hip rolls. He says, write it in your heart that each day is the best day of the year. Love it, but roll. Your body is loving this. Write it in your heart that each day is the best day of the year. Then roll, we're gonna do another one. Oh, up and roll. You can never do enough hip rolls. I want you to take your opposite hand on the outside of the leg and give me a nice little turn and hold that stretch. Soft knees, turn. Oh, come back up. Nice little yoga move we're doing here. Come up nice and slow so you're not lightheaded. Take your opposite hand out to the outside of the leg. Put your other hand behind you. Just a gentle move. Knees are soft. Good. And then come up nice and tall. Sit up. Beautiful. Put those feet in just a hair bit closer. I want you to breathe in through your nose. Out through your mouth. Good, breathing in and breathing out. Breathe in and breathe out. Good, one palm up, palm down. I want you to just rotate. It's almost like pat your belly, rub your head at the same time and do it with your eyes closed, right? Does anybody remember those challenges? A little corkscrew rolling around, rolling around. 
chest expander. Open up the chest, bring it across. Open up the chest, bring it across. Open, close. Let's get a couple more. Open, close. Last one and beautiful. Oh, how do you feel after that great stretch? I bet every cell in your body is saying thank you. And I'm saying thank you here, Coach Kim, for joining me in your 15 minute stretch. Also, please check with your doctor. Make sure everything is good for you to be stretched and worked out. Thank you.